Now I've got a real easy review for you today because I really love this vise. Stick around. Hello everybody, welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. So the vise I'm talking about today is a true classic. This thing, the Regal Medallion. Now aside from all Regal vices just looking really cool, they are really some of the, the best vices out there. Now we'll talk about all the details in just a second, but there's really four things I look at when reviewing a vise. How well does it hold a hook? How easy is it to set up and use? What's it made out of? You know, the materials, which kind of speaks to how long it's going to last. And then finally, the cost. Always an important factor when you're considering a new vise. So before we look at all those factors, let's talk a little bit about the specs on this thing. It's pretty solid. It's beefy. It comes in at one pound, eight ounces with the C-clamp. So it's a pound and a half. Um, it's made out of pretty much steel and brass. Let's put the magnet to it. Uh, most of the components here are steel, the upright post, the jaws are obviously steel, these type things right here. The screws down here, also steel. These big knobs are brass, and then the C-clamp is aluminum. Now, it's a big, beefy C-clamp, two and a quarter inches, so it'll fit on a pretty big table. It claims to hold hooks as small as a 22 and as big as a one aught. so we'll put a few in it in just a second to check it out. And as of August 2021, it's coming in at about $175. So let's put this thing on the bench and give it a try. So quite easy to put it on the bench, just like any C-clamp vise. You've got one big bolt there. You've got another bolt on the side where you can raise and lower the post. This is about as high up as it'll go. It might go maybe a half inch higher than this, but this is the, the height that I would use it for tying. Now there's really only one adjustment you might want to do. It's this bolt right here, which takes an Allen key. So you loosen that up, and that's where you adjust the, the pitch, I guess the angle right there. And this, I already adjusted it. This is how I would want it tied right here. Now, that's it. That's, that's really how you set it up. You put it on the, the bench, get your height right there, get this thing. Everything else is just, uh, you know, how you use it. So you might want to loosen this post right here. If you're tying with a C-clamp, you know, you're typically kind of at the edge edge of your bench. So we've got it right here. I've got the angle I want. I've got this in here pretty solid. And now it's ready to use. It, it really takes you about, uh, you know, 15 seconds to put on the bench and get ready to go. So let's put a standard hook in here and let me show you how it works. And this is really why the Regal Vices, why I love them so much. They're so easy to get a hook put in them. You've got this, you know, lever right here that, that opens a clamp, quick squeeze, put it in, and there you go. And it is in there. Is this thing going to, to move? I've got the hook in there pretty good. Let's see if it would slip at all. No, it's gonna bend that hook before it slips. Even if I don't have it in there very far, say I've just barely got the hook in these jaws right here, is that gonna slip? Still not, still not gonna slip. So putting a hook in and out and adjusting, it's that easy. It's probably, the easiest style of a vise to put a hook in and out of. And it's why I love the Regal so much. So after we've got a hook in, how easy is it to, you know, actually use? Well, you've got the angle like you want. Um, you have the one bolt right here that you might adjust. So this one, you loosen this up and this thing is gonna spin freely right here. It's probably not how you're gonna tie though. And how I tie with it, I just put this, tighten it to, you know, a moderate amount of tension so that I can still spin this around but when I'm tying on it, it's not going to spin around. So this thing is in here very solid. If I'm tying normal, I'm tying like this, say I want to flip it over and look at it, you do that right there. Maybe you want to tie on the bottom side, put a throat or beard, you do that right there, and then you just put it around. You know, A plus, five out of five stars for ease of use of this vise. So let's put some different size hooks in it and see if you can really tie as big as they claim you can. So I've got a 1-0 right here courtesy of Bob, big circle hook. I haven't tied anything on this yet because, well, I just haven't made any big saltwater flies yet. But yeah, that is a 1-0, easy to get in there. I would say the jaws, they're not gonna get much wider than this. So when it claims it'll hold a 1-0, I don't think it's gonna hold any bigger than that. But if you're tying bigger than that, then you probably need a special device anyway. Okay, so the other end of the spectrum, let's put it in a size 20. I don't have any 22s. 
but if it'll hold a 20 and you can tie on it, it'll probably be just fine for a 22. Okay, I got that in there. It's not gonna slip, of course. You're not gonna put a whole lot of pressure on a size 20. But yeah, I could tie on this just fine. And I'm sure it'll hold a 22, like it claims. So yeah, good job Regal there for, you know, holding the hook sizes you say you're gonna hold. So we've talked about all the criteria. Holds the hook really well, super easy to use, and made out of really solid materials. So how about the price point? At $175 in August of 2021, is this vice worth it? Yeah, I say it is. I say it's absolutely worth it. The model with the, the pedestal base, which I would probably prefer if it's my regular day-to-day -day vice, that's about $100 more. But for this, it would make a great travel vice. And if you like tying on a, a C-clamp, it's a great vice to have. So that's it for the review. Let's get into the fun stuff. This video is going to be published September 1st, 2021. And I've got the stats for July. Let's go through those real quick. We had 42,800 views on the channel, which is just a little bit higher than we had in June. We got 4,300 watch hours. We picked up 432 new subscribers and we made $276 from ads. And how YouTube works, you get paid your ad revenue for uh, the previous month, sometime in the middle or latter part of the next month. So for July, what the channel made in July, I can use that to you know, support these giveaways for August. So we had a few giveaways earlier this month in August. I think the first one was Peter Gathercole's Fly Tying Bible with shipping that ended up uh, costing about $28. Then we gave out the X Fishman fly tying kit. That one ended up costing us about $42. And then I did give out uh, two mugs. So uh, that was another $30. So add all that up. You have $100 that we've spent uh, so far giving back to the community, which guess what? Out of the $276 the channel made, that leaves us with about $176. And this vice costs $175. So how's that for a coincidence? <laughs> wasn't really a coincidence. I kind of planned it out that way. So let's do this. Let's give this vice away. Now, if you're new to the channel and haven't participated in any of our giveaways, it's really simple how we do it. But I do want to add an extra step in this one. And I've done this from time to time in the last year is if I don't have a picture of your bench, take a picture of your, your vice and your bench and email it to me. Just send it to matt at savageflies.com. And it's unfortunate that I have to do this, but a couple of times last year, we had some decent giveaways and they ended up being won by a non-fly tire. And I found that out because I saw them selling the products on eBay, you know, right after I mailed it to them. And that's just not the intent of the channel. My mission here is to encourage new fly tires to get into the sport and support new fly tires and support the you know veterans out there who help and support me and the channel here. So that's my mission and goal to get back to you, the fly tying community, however I can. So if I don't have a picture of your bench, please just email it to me. And if I do have a picture of your bench already, which I've got a folder and I've got you know 80 or 90 pictures already in it, you don't need to send me another one. You can if you want to. I really like looking at pictures of people set up. It's it's kind of entertaining. So after you've done that you just leave a comment. Leave a comment here in this video, put hashtag Regal. That's the pound sign, R-E-G-A-L, no spaces, doesn't matter if it's capitalized or not, just hashtag Regal. This video is gonna be first published September 1st, 2021 on Wednesday. Next Wednesday, that's gonna be September 8th. In the evening, I'll go to the random comment picker and we'll pick somebody who uses hashtag Regal. I'll leave a comment under your comment and then uh, I'll get this vice in the mail to you. So that's it, not hard to enter. Hope a lot of you folks will. And just my way to say thanks. I appreciate you watching the videos. I appreciate you supporting me and the channel. That's it, everybody. Y'all take care. See you next time.